Yeah, these are words, interesting, you know, like exercise and diet. These are words that I hear about often. I think are mislead people a little bit. You know, movement is the principle. We, we do need to move our bodies. We need to um, enjoy the freedom of our limbs. And uh, just like we need to stimulate our minds, you know, there needs to be activity. Um, but exercise seems to me to be a word that resulted from some man, you know, fitness manufacturing company that was also trying to take advantage of our need for that to some extent and sell us something. Um, and it's free. Movement is free. Um, the movement you really need is free. Um, yet we're in this culture where if we don't buy it, we don't actually think it's going to have that value because that value is, is arbitrarily created. And so, and diets are the same. Yes, we need to eat and we can choose what we eat. Uh, we can follow somebody's, you know, prescription for that. Or we could just say, well, I'm going to eat the most wholesome, beautiful food that I can that are grown by people I know who do it in love and with honor and, and you know, to the land and to the animals or to whatever it is. That's what I prefer to eat. That's my diet. But no, most people say, how many calories is it? And is it glycemic? And is it how much protein? And they have all these different words that they use. But frankly, there's no perfect diet that will get you to live forever. So the whole idea is how can you live in harmony? And that to me is sort of like activity and, and nourishment. These are the words I prefer. Uh, and then you can broaden how you apply them and live a life of beauty as opposed yeah. to rules. Absolutely. That's very true. Everybody should have a Dr. Michael Finkelstein. <laughs> <laughs> <You're great. laughs>